Assalamu alaikum. Our lecture today is uh, a continuation of the series of lecture about the neuro anatomy. And now we have uh, a special integrity here called the limbic system. The limbic system has uh, two main description anatomically and functionally. And in actual fact, this limbic system is not a specific or uh, a separate or um, a, w a well uh, uh, locate well located or localized uh, part of the of the higher centers. Uh, it is referred to a specific group of anatomical structures found in the area or in the region of the cortex. Uh, they are interconnected. Uh, the group of regions or areas in the brain uh, interconnected between others functionally and uh, 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 performing the function of the limbic system. So anatomically speaking, it is an interconnection of a neuronal network of a neocortical area, the neocortex, and also the cortical and subcortical area. In addition to that, also we have the cingulate gyrus involved in this limbic system, the frontal area, and also, the, as we said, the subcortical area. Uh, 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 conclusively, we can say that the limbic system is a complex network of cortical areas and subcortical areas, subcortical and cortical regions, uh, and they are interconnected by uh, uh, pathways, by axonal pathways, bidirectionally, to make the performance of the limbic system. Uh, functionally speaking, this system is very important because it's concerned with a specific function like the emotional behavior, like the aggression, the fear, the fighting, sexual activity, sexual arousal, autonomic regulation of the uh, body functions, and also the mechanisms of the memory, like the short memory and the remote memory, and even, even some sort of intellectual uh, uh, performance. Some authors say that. Um, um, as we said, uh, the limbic system uh, concerning with, with many functions, and we can uh, enumerate them in the following manner. Like the emotions uh, as a con unconscious feeling, this is performed by the cingulate uh, uh, gyrus, and also uh, the second function could be uh, summarized as the reaction to the external stimuli that uh, 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 perform uh, uh, like the sudden da danger, feeling of sudden danger or fights or flights. Uh, also, uh, the emotional reactions to the pleasurable or happiness, uh, uh, like uh, when you, you hear something w which uh, give you a feeling uh, with happiness or uh, a pleasure and also satiety uh, stimuli that concern with the feeding, also the element of love and peer bonding and family uh, reproduction. Also the, f the, f the function of the limbic system is concerned with the emotional action achieved by the stimuli that uh, 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 comes from um, the, uh, uh, the, what's called the goal-directed behavior, the goal Directed behavior. Some, some. The person when he's uh, feeling hungry, he will uh, seek for the fee food. When he is uh, feeling uh, 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 thirsty, he will uh, uh, seek for the uh, the water and the drinks. Okay. Uh, for more simplicity of the uh, understanding the function of the uh, limbic system, and for quick. Uh, remembering of the uh, function of the limbic system, we can think about the five F, five Fs to summarize the function of the limbic system. Like uh, the uh, first one, uh, the feeding, uh, the F feeding, uh, concerned with the satiety as we mentioned uh, uh, just above, and the hungry key. And also the uh, forgetting or forgetting or the memory function 
or even the fighting third F fighting which is the emotional response to the danger and to the fight and also uh, the family the four F the family uh, concern that uh, including the reproduction and the maternal instincts and the last F concerned with the uh, 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 fornicating which is concerned with the sexual arousal to keep the race of the human being so one of the important and the unique function of the limbic system is uh, that uh, the limbic system is concerned with the preservation of uh, the human race um, uh, okay the limbic system is able to complete these uh, uh, different uh, functions or activities by the connections to other part of the brain uh, as we mentioned before the anatomically speaking we have cortical area and subcortical area the cortical area for example we will come in a moment about these divisions uh, including for example the the neocortex now the next slide uh, we will go through the major parts of the limbic system uh, or what is called the limbic centers okay the first one for example the cortical area uh, which is including the neocortex cingulate gyrus orbitofrontal cortex insula that is concerned with the uh, memory uh, function uh, also the medial prefrontal cortex the prefrontal cortex is concerned with the emotion and behavioral uh, 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 performance okay the role of this part of the limbic system concerned with the emotional experience uh, related to the sensation of uh, fear danger angry and so on even pleasure happiness and um, yani as example of the uh, importance of this uh, function uh, when uh, they are experimentally do ablation of the cingulate uh, uh, part and the prefrontal cortex which is ablated from the brain uh, and a kid done on the animal experimental animals uh, and here uh, uh, after that the pain as a stimuli is no longer being perceived as unpleasant feeling you know all of us know that the pain is unwanted feeling unpleasant feeling like you know about when we do or the uh, scientists do ablation of the cingulate and prefrontal cortex as a part of the limbic system the pain become a uh, um, and, and uh, a pleasant feeling or even it is uh, to more extent uh, unpleasant uh, feeling now a second part as an a group of the uh, limbic system is the parahippocampal gyrus and also we will go to the subcortical areas which is very important concerned with the function of the limbic system including the thalamus the hypothalamus the uh, uh, subtal area the nucleus accumbens uh, the hippocampus brain stem and even the most uh, famous one uh, which is the amygdala concerning with many functions mainly the angry and the uh, fight and the flight <coughs> this is a medial surface of the higher centers this is the corpus callosum the major uh, part of the white matter of the brain and here is the cingulate uh, cingulate gyrus cingulate gyrus which is the uh, uh, cortical part uh, present uh, here just above the um, the corpus callosum okay the amygdala or the amygdaloid body as a part of the uh, limbic system It is almond shape um, and sometimes they are called uh, the amygdaloid uh, complex and lies within the temporal lobe lies within the temporal lobe in the antero superior uh, part of the temporal lobe uh, sometimes uh, we can say it is uh, in, in the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle 
um, this amygdaloid uh, uh, body or, or part is very important as a key rule in analyzing and processing the emotional uh, 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 stimuli uh, of the external sensory uh, uh, inputs. Uh, also, it's concerned with the behavior and self preservation of the human body, uh, of the human sorry, being, like feeling, fighting, and feeding. So, it's concerned with the function that preserves the human being, that preserve the human being lying seeking for uh, uh, feeding or uh, defending himself, like fighting, and even uh, uh, the feeling, expression of uh, the feeling. Okay, this is the uh, amygdaloid complex, the amygdaloid complex here, sorry. Again, uh, here, bil temporal lobe, in super, more, more, more anterior, more superior, more anterior, more superior, and the inferior horn of the uh, lateral uh, ventricle. Okay. <clears throat> Again, we have another structure, uh, very important also, concerning with the um, limbic system, which is the basal nucleus of Minert located rostral to the hypothalamus, more anterior to the hypothalamus, uh, and lies below the anterior commissure. Um, it is a region of a gray matter, it means uh, containing the neurons uh, in the cortical area. Well, this nucleus of Minert uh, connected with the parts of the limbic system. So this nucleus regulates the function of the many parts of the limbic system. It is reciprocally connected with the amygdaloid body, with the hippocampus, with the hypothalamus, and concerned with the modulation and regulation of the amygdala as a part of limbic system, and also with the intellectual, uh, with the intellectual function of the limbic system. Okay. Now, um, as we mentioned just uh, in the previous slides, that there is a, a, a relation or connections between the limbic system and the parts of the basal ganglia uh, that concerning with the motor activity, regulation of the motor action. Uh, with Tali, uh, uh, this connections or relation between the limbic system parts and the basal ganglia will end up with a, a expression, motor expression of the feeling, motor expression of the feeling. Let us say like that, it's, for example, the facial expression when we, uh, when some, when someone feeling uh, uh, happy or feeling sad or feeling ill or sick and, and so on, or feeling angry. So these expressions done by motor activity under the control of the basal ganglia and the interpretation or processing of the external stimuli the emotional stimuli uh, will be processed more to uh, have the response of them by the expression of our face like happy or sad or uh, surprised or even uh, apathic or feeling ill. Okay, so this geographic relationship between the limbic system and the basal ganglia will end up with a very important expression of the emotional stimuli. Um, as we mentioned, the hippocampus is part of the limbic system, and this hippocampus. Um, uh, form as a location forming the floor of the uh, uh, inferior horn of the lateral ventricle within the substance of the temporal lobe. This hippocampus uh, consists of hippocampus proper, the main part and the dentate gyrus of the hippocampus. Uh, the area here uh, in the square here, this is the part of the hippocampus here and you can see this is the uh, circular part like that 
this is the hippocampus with its different parts okay the parts of the hippocampus uh, present in the ventricle we, we mentioned that the uh, hippocampus is present in the inferior horn of the lateral ventricle. So the ventricular part of the hippocampus is covered by thin, la thin lamina of axons, white matter, and this thin lamina here, you can differentiate here two colors, white color and more, uh, more dark color or gray matter. The white one, it is the thin layer of axons, we call it the alveus here. The alveus is the axonal layer the white matter layer of the hippocampus. The Amnasabe hippocampus, Yusamal Hussein, Bilogal Arabia, where it is called the uh, hippocampus, uh, um, comes from the Egyptian uh, name of uh, um, their god at the, the ancient time, Elisamu Kornu of Amun, Karn Amun, Awisamu Hussein, Aidan Mukun Yusama Hakala. Okay. Fatakriban Yaniwa had Mukun Yhel Bale. And who comes from this architecture, just like that. And who comes from this architecture, just like that. And who comes from this architecture, Or comes from the uh, uh, ancient uh, uh, god of uh, Egyptian people called Amun. Okay. This alveus, مثل ما قلنا, هي thin layer of axons. Thin layer of axons where uh, it is present um, uh, uh, in the ventricular part of the hippocampus. The bundle of axons, it will extend from the hippocampus and adjacent area uh, and forming what is called the fornix. The fornix is one of the major part of the white matter in the brain. The akbar parts of the brain consist of white matter, who is corpus callosum. And the fornix is also a major part of white matter, uh, projection fibers. The, 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 the fornix, so uh, 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 it is the major part, or for the major white matter concerning with the function of the of the limbic system. Uh, the fornix, it is the major output from the hippocampus as a part of the limbic system. <coughs> okay. Mm. Histolog histologically speaking, if we can. Uh, uh, examine the uh, hippocampal uh, region as gray matter uh, we can see uh, uh, different type of uh, 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 cells or different type of layers histological layers that contain a specific features the first one called the molecular layer which contains a, a, a network of axons dendrite of the cells and the glial processes so it is containing the white matter, the dendrites, the axons that transmit the orders and the stimuli uh, to and fro. Uh, the pyramidal layer, or called the granular layer, sorry, um, this pyramidal layer containing the cell bodies, which is pyramidal uh, shape, you call cell bodies, and also contain, yeah, contain the axons that enter the alveus, the alveus with the magenna here, thin layer con containing the axons, will be then here, the serial fornix, which is the major uh, white matter uh, concerning with the function or transmit the information from the hippocampus to the other parts of the limbic system. And also, this pyramidal layer containing dendrites of the pyramidal cells that extend into the molecular layer above it. Okay. Uh, because it contains aggregations of small cells like uh, stellate cells and then rights of the uh, these cells the granular cells extend into the molecular layer the molecular layer containing axons and the uh, dendrites uh, these uh, uh, um, uh, or this layer مثل ما قلنا containing the cell bodies and also uh, the dendrites of the uh, granular cells that extend to the layer above molecular 
and also the axons of stellate cells uh, we can call it the mossy fiber the mossy fiber inhibitory fibers it can, uh, it's a regulation to the transmission of the orders from and to so the mossy fiber they are the axons of these stellate cells that terminate uh, within the hippocampus okay the third layer we can see it in the hippocampus is the polymorphic layer will be uh, containing the axons with dendrites with glial processes like the molecular layer and then the idea is the idea is that we have three layers one above one below or more deep with salts in between in between here the cellular layer which is the cells and the dendrites will go to the molecular وال الاكسونز تروح باتجاه الدبث فبالتالي اكو ترانسميشن ما بين الثري لايرز الموجوده وعمليه التنظيم الترانسميشن اوف 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 اوردرز اوف انفورميشن اوف ستيمولاي ممكن تكون عن طريق الموسي فايبر الموسي فايبر اللي هي الاكسونز اوف ذا جرانيولر اور ستيليت سيلز ذات ميك كوزنج انهيبيشن Uh, or uh, uh, inhibition or a blockage of the uh, transmission of the informations. <coughs> Now, قلنا قبل شوية إنه هذا اللي هو كمبس مع كل هاي التفاصيل مع كل هاي cells مع كل هاي processing of the informations will give an neural output. وبالتالي The neural output should be conveyed by the fornix. Well, fornix is the major white matter that convey uh, from the hippocampus to the other parts of the brain. For example, to the mammillary body, the hypothalamic nuclei, the septal region, the substantia and nominatum, and the minor nucleus. So these are parts uh, that uh, uh, communicate or uh, connected with the hippocampus by this fornix. وبالتالي تستلم الاوردرز والانفورميشنز فروم ذا هيبوكامبس حتى تسوي فيرذر فانكشن اللي هو جزء من فانكشن اوف ذا لمبيك سيستم الهيبوكامبس از بايلاترالي كونكتد باي ذا كاستيشن اوف ذا فورنكس يعني الرايت فورنكس صح هو بروجكشن فايبرز فروم انتيرو بوستيرا دايركشن ان ذا سيم هيمسفير لكن اكو جزء من عنده يروح للرايت سايد والليفت فورنكس جزء من عنده يروح للليفت سايد وبالتالي ذا هيبوكامبس از بايلاترالي انتر كونكتد باي ذيس ديكاستيشن اوف ذا فورنيكال فايبرز فنسميها ذا هيبوكامبال كوميشور او نسميه فورنيكال كوميشور بالمناسبه كلمه كوميشور ات مينز ذا وايت ماتر Crossing from right to left or lacus, يعني between two hemispheres. بين ما projection fibers within the same hemisphere, like you know, from for example from frontal to to caudal, from rostral part to caudal part of the brain. Okay. The hippocampus also. By this big connections um, with other parts of the limbic system, with other parts of the brain, and itself it has different layers and the processing of the informations uh, will have an important role in re receiving the novel sensory input and registered as a short-term memory. Yani el hippocampus, it will receive the informations and will be. Uh, uh, just like a short library, short term library for the memory. Um, ال, ال, ال memory disorders ممكن تكون due to hippocampal lesion. يعني if we have a hippocampal lesion, we might end with a disorder of the memory. Now, um, as experimental proof for the function of the hippocampus, When we do electrical or deep electrical stimulation of the uh, hippocampal uh, formation, this will produce augmentation of the function of the or expression of the function of the hippocampus. So, the patient can will feel uh, by fear or memories. تطلع علي memories مثلاً و illusions even illusions and even emotions. Different emotions ممكن تكون Uh, um, happiness, or can it be a pleasant feeling due to this electrical stimulation? Okay. 
Now, uh, this term called puppies or puppies circuit واللي هي نفسها ممكن اعتبرها هي limbic system هو نفس interconnections between different parts of the uh, of the limbic system like the hippocampus and the parahippocampal region عن طريق الفورنكس ال white matter تاخذ ال orders وتاخذ ال informations تروح على other uh, region مثل ما قلنا قبل شوية المعملري body و وإلى الثلاماس اللي هي جزء من ال 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 cortical and subcortical areas and uh, cingulate gyrus أيضا بالcortical area uh, these interconnections and the processing of informations by white matter and uh, gray matter white matter and the gray matter this loop of connection uh, نسميها conclusively نسميها Papi's circuit واللي هي the same uh, function of the limbic system so the puppies, اللي هو العالم اللي اكتشف هاي the circuit هاي the connections, state that in the cingulate gyrus or cortex, it is the receptive region for experiencing of emotions. يعني it is also a very important part of the limbic system. Okay. إذا تكلمنا على the limbic system functionally. وإحنا قلنا قبل شوي anatomically speaking هو different group of of neurons of areas in the brain functionally speaking ممكن نقسم إلى subdivisions و like the following the cortical area و the hypothalamus مثل ما قلنا قبل شوي إنه هو cortical region و subcortical region في the cortical region اللي هي like the neocortex وال الهايبوثالامس ممكن تكون هي تحت يعني مسميات ال 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 السب السب كورتيكال ريجن هذا اكو انتجريشن بيناتهم مثل ما قلنا قبل شوي بالبابيدز سيركت و ال 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 الليمبيك سيستم از از سيستم اوف مالتيبل سنسري انبوت اند بروسيسنج اند انتربريتيشن اكو انبوت يجي للهيبوكامبس اكو انبوت يروح باتجاه السنجوليت لكنه كل هاي الانفورميشنز تدور على كل الاجزاء من الليمبيك سيستم كل هاي الانفورميشنز اللي تجي من البره الاستميلاي والاوردرز سوري الانفورميشنز ويل باسز الونج ذيس كونكشنز اوف ذا بارت اوف ذا ليمبيك سيستم وبالتالي وي ويل اند اب وذ ا فانكشن اوف ذا ليمبيك سيستم For example, if we receive the fear stimuli, for example, or the external stimuli, the end up emotional response will be, for example, fight or angry or happiness. حسب الاستimulus اللي تجي من برا. عن طريق multi sensory input or multiple functions done by these parts of the limbic system. الأمجدلة والبيدي، النيوكليوس أكامبانس والسبتال أريا اللي هي مور أنتيرا تو ذا هايبوثالامس، طبعاً هم سب كورتيكال ريجن والأوربيتا فرونتال كورتكس، they are vital and having a role in regulation of emotions، regulation of emotions. ال 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 functional speaking، إذا نتكلم على ال limbic system ممكن نقسم إلى سبتال وأمجدلويد pathways. اللي هي including subtal area, cingulate gyrus, striae terminalis, hippocampal formation, and even the amygdaloid body. When they are concerned with the memory functions related to the social, to the emotional and sexual behavior, like mating, like procreation, and caring of offspring, and the preservation of a human race, as we mentioned before. And if we stimulate the septal area as a part of the limbic system, we will have or end up with euphoria, which is a feeling of pleasure, and also sexual arousal, which is orgasm. The top of the sexual activity. The other subdivisions of the limbic system is the amygdaloid body or the amygdaloid pathways. That includes the amygdala as a part, as an anatomical part, and also the neocortex, where this amygdaloid pathways concerning with receiving the input or informations from the olfactory bulb, from the smelling function. وبالتالي يجب أن نفهم إنه the smell or the odor 
is very important uh, 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 stimuli that uh, uh, energize or even stimulate the function of limbic system. يعني كثير من الفunctions اللي يعني performed by the limbic system ممكن تكون جاية من من olfactory bulb يعني ممكن أي واحد يشتم الآن عطر وحتى تفهموها عطر ويشعر بالرضا أو يشعر بال أو يصير عنده نوزية مثلا أو يصير عنده مثلا تجي مثلا memories مثلا عن طريق هاي الستيمولس الواحد اللي هي odor comes from the olfactory bulb for all of these uh, emotional expression uh, due to this single odor stimuli uh, could be uh, a, a, a good example of the limbic system okay يعني ما أريد أصرف وايا وقت مع this uh, uh, diagram لكنه أيضا it, it will express the connections between the functional part of the limbic system uh, for example if we have uh, stressful stimuli from outside this will affect the hypothalamic pituitary complex and this will release hormones like cortisol we know that cortisol is uh, secreted in the, at the time of uh, stress, time of fear time of anxiety where it will goes or affect the amygdaloid uh, body or amygdala and this will also express the uh, feeling of angry for example and also uh, this will affect uh, by the interconnections with the different parts of the limbic system like the brainstem, reticular formation and the uh, nucleus solitarius. This will express the autonomic regulation, the autonomic responses to the uh, stressful stimuli that comes from outside when you are seeing something or hearing something that uh, makes you in stress. Uh, for example, you know no brainstem concerning with the vital signs. For example, the blood pressure uh, could be elevated, uh, the pupil dilatation, the GIT motility. Um, sometimes, uh, when the patient feeling feel feel himself in a fear or an anxiety, we might have uh, an, an increased motility of the GIT, and we will pass. Uh, يعني a frequent bowel motion also a sweaty the, pe the person will be sweaty uh, during stressful conditions and also salivation it might be one of the functions that is uh, controlled or regulated by these parts of the limbic system so this is the amygdaloid uh, uh, amygdaloid function as a part of the limbic system when we have a stressful stimuli from outside all of these uh, points I mentioned just uh, uh, before can be happens or expressed. Um, now, this clinically important uh, uh, conditions related to the limbic system uh, disorder or disturbance of function. Uh, Akid and the behavioral emotion, uh, behavioral expression is very important. Will be uh, dis disturbed. For the the patient can express uh, the personality disorder like the schizophrenia or what is called the Korsakoff uh, psychosis. He containing uh, one of its uh, elements, the amnesia, or the loss of loss of loss of memory. Uh, for these two example, they are disorders uh, might happen with the uh, uh, with the limbic system disturbance. Mumkin kun chemical disturbance, mumkin kun uh, uh, pressure disturbance of the limbic system. Um, the features, uh, including inside these two large terms, mumkin we have pronounced changes in the emotional sphere of a permanent and proximal uh, nature. Sometimes the person have a disturbance of satiety centers uh, where you can express anorexia, he cannot have no uh, desire for feeding and also sexual disorder, hypersexual, decreased libido or also we have the, per the person or the patient uh, uh, might have sexual disorders uh, 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 and also memory disorders Mumkin, uh, he will see a lot of memories uh, related and unrelated to the stimuli and even he might see an illusions unreal, unreal memories or uh, 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 events okay um, also the uh, Korsakoff psychosis uh, have uh, what is called the specific 
uh, uh, lesion or the specific uh, uh, disorder or or or, or symptom اللي هي نسميها the amnesia. The amnesia is the loss of uh, memory, and the patient will lose uh, the ability to remember the current events. يعني ممكن أحداث قريبة كلش he cannot remember or recall these uh, events. So this is the last slide concerning with the uh, disorder of the limbic system. Um, I hope you collectively you can get the uh, main rule of the limbic system. Uh, conclusively, ممكن ألخص المعلومة كالتالي limbic system anatomically speaking هو different group موجودة بالbrain بالhigher centers cortical and subcortical بيناتهم اكو interconnection و bidirectional يعني يستلم ويعطي informations uh, the most important part هم الهيبوكامبل والامكدلويد also uh, وبالتالي they are receiving the main input of the uh, from external stimuli the limbic system functional speaking تكلمنا عنه اللي هي ال 5 Fs concerning with the feeding with the family and so on uh, and this order اللي يصير بالlimbic system concerning with these uh, uh, expressions or these emotional expressions بالتالي راح تكون mostly uh, memory disorder ممكن تكون sexual disorder ممكن تكون personality disorder like schizophrenia uh, I hope you will get uh, the lecture uh, more um, informative, more useful for you and I am ready for any questions or an inquiry about the uh, slides of the lecture and I hope you will I, I see you again uh, in the next lecture. Thanks and goodbye.